Some Excel files are too wide to print a single page across, but you can change a setting so that they'll fit. This Excel file has orders, and we want all the items included in each row. If I just print it the way it's set now, this total price column would be on a separate page, and that wouldn't be very easy for people to read. So we'll change a setting in the workbook so that this will print one page across. It's 400 rows, so it's not all going to fit on one page, but we want each row to be on the same page. I'll click the File tab and click Print, and here's a preview. So the last column that's showing is the unit cost, and the total price is on a separate page. To put it all on one page, I'll go to the bottom here where it says No Scaling, which is the default setting. I'll click the arrow, and my choices are No Scaling, or I can make it all fit on one page, but if I select that, it's so small that no one would even be able to read it. The other options are fit all the columns on one page or fit all the rows. Well, we've got too many rows, but we want to fit all the columns, so I'll click that, and now there's the total price column. Everything fits across on one page, and we've got nine pages. We can also, as we scroll through this, see that the first page had headings, but the subsequent pages don't. We can fix that with a setting. We can't change that while we're in this preview though. If I click page setup here and go to the sheet tab, the print titles rows to repeat at top is grayed out. So I'll click OK here and go to the page layout tab and here I can click print titles and now these boxes are available for changes. So I'll rows to repeat at top, I'll click in there and then select rows one through three. They show up in here and click OK. Now if I go back to the file tab and click print, there's the heading on the first and the second and all the other pages. We've got an extra page now because we've added a little bit to the top of each page, but the pages will be easier to read. If someone gets a copy of this now, they'll see all the headings. If you're in older versions of Excel, where you don't have this fit all columns on one page, you can use a page setup and under scaling, choose fit to one page wide, and then just clear this box out. And Excel will put it one page wide and figure out how many pages tall it should be. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.